Hello and welcome to this training session. My name is Ashraf Ayad and I'll be working with you today on how to use Mentor Ray Production Library. First I want to start off by saying thanks to Mr. Zap Anderson. That's his blog here. Also he's known on the forums by just Zap. And what you can do is uh, you can follow him on his blog if you want to have more information about these production shaders or sometimes we call them the MIP shaders. First we need to expose these shaders. So uh, we are going to be using Maya today so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go locate one of uh, the mill scripts that are installed under the program files Autodesk Maya 2009 scripts others and this script is called Mentorway Custom Node Class and actually I'm just wrote it down big for you here and then what I'll do is I'm just going to copy that mill script paste it again I'm just going to rename the original this way I can go back to my file if in case if I need to uh, something happen and I need to go back to my original file at this point I want to make sure that you guys following these instructions carefully uh, because you might break the uh, this mail script so you always make sure that you have this original file handy in case if you need to go back to it one more time so I'm just going to open my uh, mail script with any text editor for example I'm just going to use ultra edit and these are the shaders if you scroll down actually at line 158 you're gonna start seeing or do a search for MIP and these are the shaders that you're gonna start noticing here the MIP ray switch and so on however if you look up here there was uh, a note saying internal mentor ray nodes these not meant to be used with my uh, so from now on uh, use on your own risk what I'm going to be doing, actually, these shaders are already there in Maya. So all you have to do, if you know the name of the shader, you can do this, copy, and go to Maya. And the mail script, write create node, followed by a node name. And you'll have it available for you. So what you can do, obviously, we, we don't want to keep doing that one by one. We just want to expose them all in one shot. So what we're going to do is we're going to modify the mail script a little bit. So in the mail script, the first thing I'm going to do is just disable that line by putting two forward slashes. And now I have the chance to organize my uh, shaders. If I enable them all at once, they're all going to be appearing in one section in your uh, mentor way create node window. But now we have the chance to organize them a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is just I want to copy them. Or actually, uh, let's get rid of that as well. And I'm going to cut and place them here just for now just so I can see which shaders that I want to bring in. Well the first thing I want to do is to examine how the shaders or actually how this portion of the mill script is written. So if you notice we have an if statement open with brackets and then dollar sign and the name of the node. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're just gonna simple copy and paste and we're gonna copy a few nodes and we want to place them here at the end you'll see there is a return where is that going to be placed in the hypershade so for this one I want it to be placed in the material so I'm just going to copy from here to here and I say material so now any nodes that I'm going to start placing in here they're going to appear in the material section alright so I'm just going to grab the uh, match shadows there's one here and you'll see it ends with two columns such as this alright so I'm just gonna grab a few of them and come back to you so once I copied them all first I had a mistake here that they had two dollar signs uh, right after each other you only have one so and the last node that you wanna have you wanna close that bracket that's open in here after the F statement so I'm just gonna close that and lastly I need to close this as well okay so that's for the material and I'm gonna do another one textures and for the textures I'm gonna start taking the race watch family the advanced and the regular race watch and I also added the camera ramp and the last thing I'm just gonna return it to a texture section now I'm gonna do the environment so I'm gonna grab the uh, race watch environment and both the gray ball and the mirror ball and I'm gonna return it to the environment section and again the last one you need to close the bracket now it's time to grab the uh, output shader which is the motion vector and motion blur so I'm gonna grab these two and go back and place them in the other mill 
And lastly, I'm going to grab the gamma gain and subset. And I just notice here we still have these two nodes here, the uh, binary proxy and the metallic paint out mixer. So I'm just going to grab the binary proxy. And I added that, or actually I made the return go to geometry. So time to save, and let's start my Maya. Well, actually, when I started, I got greeted with a syntax error. So I'm just going to quickly look again at my syntax here. And yeah, here it is. I should have closed this with a bracket. Control this, and we start again. All right, let's see our hypershade. So this uh, error message here saying we cannot find the XPM. The XPM is just the icon. It's like the icon that sits in here. And it's just saying I can't find it. That, that doesn't mean it's going to prevent the nodes from actually working. So we have the nodes here that appeared under the material as we specified. Uh, the red just indicating that I'm not using Mentor Ray as a render engine. So the Ray Swatch here, textures. I have the environments and the MIP motion vectors. Last thing I did, actually, I combined all the, the nodes that I have in the texture and I placed them in the material. I thought it would make more sense this way. So now, if you go to my Maya and to go to the hypershade, you'll have all the materials are here. And if I go to the environment, I should have the three environments that I placed. And the output shaders, the one that we already talked about previously. This red uh, line in here just saying that we're using Maya software as our render engine. Actually, if I go to flip to Mentor Ray now, this will go away. And now we're active and ready to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this session. I'm looking forward to talk to you more.